Well, good morning. It is Sunday morning, 17th of October. As you can see, we're down to just that little heavy weather jib. We were in gale conditions last night. About 25 to 35 knots of wind. We still got about 25 to 30. Um, I'm going to have to get that triple reef made up. Because uh, we got to haul the wind a little closer. Basically, you got to sail on a beam reach to get to the mouth of the bay. Uh, otherwise, we're going to start getting pushed out to the sea here. Because um, uh, she can't go, she can't work to windward at all under just a head sail. She's got to have, uh, she's got to have some mainsail. So we'll give her the triple reef main. Might be a little over canvassed. I'll try to baby her as best I can. And hopefully as we get toward the mouth of the bay, we'll start getting some lee shelter. And uh, the winds will begin easing up a little. It is still just howling. It's cold, too. So anyway, first maneuver is to get this triple reef main up. So we'll see how we do with that. So I got the boom lifted off the gallows there. Luckily she's not rolling so bad and there's enough wind to keep the boom from swinging. And there it's swinging a little. Now the anticipated difficulty here is, is with just the small staysail up, I can't get her up close enough to the wind so that the mainsail will raise free and clear of the lee runner and lee topping lift. And, as usual, one of the short battens is going to get caught, so I'm trying to free that right there. Now it's back around to the windward side. Ah, uh, but it got caught again. And so you got to just keep working it. And try to time your trip back to the halyards uh, when, when she naturally begins to round up. Because she'll naturally, uh, with the helm down there, she'll fall off, gather some speed, and round up into the wind. So when she rounds up is when you want to dash back to the halyards and raise the main. Uh, looks like I got it that time. As is the case with some jobs on deck, particularly with traditionally rigged boats, is there's simply no time for clipping and unclipping safety harnesses. And they will often tend to get tangled up in what you're doing. Uh, jobs like this simply need to be done quickly and efficiently. And the needs of the ship just override your desire for personal safety. With her triple reef main, she's steadier and back up to a gallop. So we're making a good clip toward the mouth of the bay now. And as forecast, as we begin to close the coast, both winds and seas are dropping. So time to strip the heavy weather jib off her and go back up to the reef staysail, which will give us more driving power. staysail sheet at home, we got her back up to a gallop. Unfortunately, 
While wind and seas have abated some, the wind has come further forward of the beam, so we're almost close hauled now. I'm trying to punch into this nasty chop. Oh, just all kinds of fun and excitement here. So once again, I arrive in the bay in the wee hours of the morning and get my anchor down in Pocosin, where I spend the next couple of days catching up on sleep and getting the boat back in order. Wow, just a beautiful fall day on the Chesapeake Bay. So we just weighed anchor from Pocosin. We're on our way to Delnaville. our way out of this channel here. There's a lot of shallow water around. Look at that, just flat water, the morning sun. It's not too chilly because we got a southwest wind. So, as I say, it's just picture perfect fall sailing. Oh, here they are. Wow, those are big dolphins. When I first saw them, I thought maybe they were pilot whales. But... But judging by the wind angle, we should be able to get in under sail. So we'll see. This is always a little bit tricky. Here we go. And now for the fun part. Coming up. Uh, but alas, the wind comes forward as I'm trying to get in through the channel. So I'm glad I have that outboard deployed as the entrance to Jackson Creek is too narrow to tack through. But once inside, Jackson Creek is a lovely and well-sheltered spot. Well, it's still too early in the season to think about jumping offshore to the Caribbean. So naturally, that's a time to return to the list of boat projects. Next up on the list is to replace the charge controller to the solar panels, as my previous one had a corroded terminal, which was still functional, but, but uh, barely. Also, I'm replacing it with an MPPT controller, uh, which supposedly are more efficient than the PWM controllers, so we'll see how that works out. Well, we're getting something from the uh, from the panels. It's the main panels. We only got 15 volts there, but it, it is presently raining. So generally, when you got thick enough clouds for rain, yeah, and then about a quarter of an amp. When you get thick enough clouds for rain, you get hardly, and this is the main array, these are the panels on the boom. Generally, uh, you get hardly any current. 
Uh, with, with rain clouds, I find the array is down to about 5% of its, uh, of its output when it's sunny. So I just got a message from the canvas maker that my new cushions are ready. So I'll take out the old ones first. Hey, Dwayne. How you doing? Oh, those look just like the ones we were playing. So these new cushions. I mean, it's almost a duplicate of the old ones, except I went with four inch foam instead of three. So you got more, more to sit on here, which makes it a lot more comfortable. And I just got this trash bag under the heater. Because one thing I find with the heater is sometimes you get little bits of soot that can drop out and uh, really do a, really make a mess on the cushions. So here's a nice addition here. So I got the heater running and I uh, put one of these heat fans on. I got a shackle in there just to kind of angle it down a bit, but it just attaches to the chimney with a hose clamp. And uh, it's simply driven by heat, by thermal energy. And it really helps because um, I have this angled down somewhat, somewhat and it really helps to circulate the warm air throughout the cabin. It's not a really strong fan, but it's enough to move some air. And uh, plus it doesn't require any electricity. And I've got it pointing toward my bunk so I can light the stove in the early morning when it's really chilly and uh, wake up to nice warm air wafting over. <laughs> 